Hi everyone, hope you're all doing okay. Big changes are coming to our global financial monetary system. The days of the fiat system are pretty much numbered. We're headed to a new digital global financial system and it's about to be revealed to the world in a very, very short period of time. So this is obviously going to mean further chaos, confusion, and it's going to lead to commodities like gold and silver just becoming more volatile over the next few years. If you look at the potential price action we could see for these commodities, we can get a good judge of where we're headed. And if you look over the last 20 years, we can kind of discern from the general behavior of gold and silver price action and kind of estimate where the prices are going to spike to. As a short disclaimer, this is not financial advice, so please do your own research and speak to a professional financial advisor who actually knows what he's talking about. The first monetary expansion was around was moderate and it gave gold its bull run up to 2008 to around three times the gold price. 2008, 2011, we had obviously the spice of QE being pumped into the market. And this obviously caused the prices to rise not only by three times, but also in a much shorter time frame of three years. So this year, 2020, we've seen the massive amounts of stimulus, um, three trillion being pumped into the system. So today we have four times the expansion of QE compared to 2008. So if we start from the low in March of 2020, the price was around 1500. We can then basically times that price by the previous expansions, which was time three. But also we can take into account the monetary expansion, which was four times the 2008 QE. So we can also times that by four, which gives me basically a price prediction of $18,000 gold by September 2021. This is going to be amazing, but also very scary. And the question is obviously going to be, what's the world going to look like in that short period of time? Silver average 2002, $4.50, spiked up five times to $20 in 2008, six years. 2008, 2011, three years, we went from $10 to $50, also five times. So we can basically judge that again. We're at $13 in March 2020, times up by five plus four times the amount of stimulus that we saw, and it's probably going to be even more by the end of this year, we're going to see the price of around $260. So that's going to put the gold and silver ratio, if they hit the targets that I'm expecting, one to 69. And obviously, if we ever end up at the historical silver to gold ratio, one to 20, or even lower, then a gold price of 20,000 would equate to a silver price of around 1,000 or more. Won't be long till we know. Only one year left to go. So good luck, everyone, and stay safe.